thank you very much indeed, uh, Jonathan. Yes, the Department of Homeland, Sec Homeland Security in the United States, it's saying today that it didn't see any surge at the midnight moment when the so-called Title 42 ran out. But what it can deny is that there has been a record surge, daily record figures of migrants crossing the border in the run-up to that midnight moment when the law changed. Now, we've spent the day here in New Mexico on the mountain that looms large over the U.S.-Mexico border. Let's have a look now at a day in the life of Mount Crystal Ray. A helicopter and, to the right, an officer on horseback conduct border patrol high on Mount Crystal Ray, where America meets Mexico. With our cameras, we found what they were looking for. Migrants concealed among rocks, one in the middle watching us with binoculars. They didn't care for the reverse angle, one throwing a stone at the drone. By vehicle, Border Patrol chased reports of migrants on the ground, while the helicopter continued its search by air. And they kept coming. More and yet more. It's easy to see why migrants would choose this route to make a border crossing. Much of the border is lined by this, a 21-foot high fence. But take a look here at this particular point. What separates America from Mexico is concrete a foot high. On the mountain where they couldn't build the wall, border crossing is a daily routine. And it's where migrants see a clear path to the United States. A white marker high up denotes the U.S. border. To be here is to see the difficulty in stemming the flow of immigration, Title 42 or not. When the old law passed, U.S. Homeland Security said there had been no substantial increase in migrant numbers, but they've acknowledged failings over time. Our system has been broken for more than two decades. It was last reformed in the 1990s. So that is the first point. The second point is we have not received from Congress the resources that we need and that we requested. It is a political story that grows with the numbers. They kept on coming over Mount Cristo Rey towards New Mexico. The mountains reminder that this is a tale with people at its heart. Well, there you go. It was a busy day. That was one sector of the border at New Mexico. And speak to border patrol officers, and they tell you that some days they can be chasing up to 500 migrants, and that's the day after Title 42. So on the face of it here, and it is a microcosm, there's no great change with the law. Uh, the challenge for Joe Biden is considerable, of course. He is reinforcing the message that there will be tough new restrictions. He's talking about the expulsion of migrants who don't apply for asylum before they get into the United States and who don't apply online, saying that they could be expelled for five years and not allowed to return. If they do, they could be criminally prosecuted. So that has prompted a fear amongst migrants that entry restrictions could be tougher following the end of Title 42. That clearly has fueled a surge of sorts that we've seen in recent days and weeks. That's been compounded by misinformation provided by human smugglers. So that is the basis on which we have seen the practical experience here. And it's big on politics, clearly. It will be one of the defining issues of the coming election, a defining issue of the future for President Joe Biden.